name is Anil Nair and I'm an aerospace engineering student here at UCLA. And I'm going to help you by going over some math concepts and examples. Good luck. The example video for change of basis um, and similar matrices. So uh, we have A, um, only negative 3, 4, 4, 3. Uh, and A is associated with the linear transformation T um, from the standard basis. Um, 1, 0, 0, 1 to the standard basis, um, but we're given a basis beta 1, 2 and negative 2, 1 and we're told to find B where B is the matrix of T with respect to beta. So the way we go about this is um, we write B um, which is T from beta to beta and we use this formula. Um, we know what t from n to n is. It's a. And we have to multiply this by a change of basis matrix, um, which is really an identity matrix from one basis to another. So since we have normal basis here, this identity matrix is going to have normal matrix or normal basis here and the basis we want here. Um, and since we have normal here, we're going to put normal there with the target basis there. So essentially what we do when we do this is um, this kind of cancels with the next one in line. If we start here and we go here and we go here, if that makes sense. And then this will cancel with that, leaving just this and this, which is what we want. So what do these mean? Um, the identity matrix, um, for example, and this this means the identity going from beta to the normal basis. Um, the identity from the ba normal basis to the beta basis, for example, would be just the two vectors that make up the basis. Um, and this is because 1, 0 in the normal matrix or normal basis corresponds to 1, 2 in the beta basis and then 0, 1 in the normal basis corresponds to negative 2. So this one's usually easy, easy to find. So we've already got this one taken care of. We already know this, now we just have to find this, um, and this actually ends up being the inverse of what we just found. So this is the inverse of sorry, the identity from the normal basis to the beta basis. So if we take the inverse of this, which uh, ends up being one-fifth, one-two, negative two-one. Um, now we have all three matrices we need to find B. So B is therefore going to be um, one-fifth times one negative two two-one times A, which is negative three four four three and the identity from the normal basis to beta, or beta to the normal basis, um, which is 1, 2, negative 2, 1. And then we just go about multiplying these out, um, get 5, 10, 10, negative 5. And if we multiply that by the one fifth we have here, we just get one, two, two, negative one. And then multiplying these together, we get five, zero, zero, negative five. So B equals five, zero, zero, negative five.